Hi everybody, welcome back to another episode of Pain Vlog. Today is May 27th, it's the day walk. We are out here at Mill Creek, trying to enjoy some fresh air while the house is being inspected. It's kind of windy, so there's no bugs, which is fantastic. Wife's a little salty right now, because she had to explain to the home inspector and the realtor that the pool works 100% and the, the deck jets work and the heater works and you know, all these basic pool functions that I figured they should know. I mean like when a human being is determining the value of your house then they need to understand how to work the simple things. It's like, I know it sounds silly but it's like him telling us that he can't turn on the oven. But if your 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 job is to know how to use the things inside of a home, and make sure they work. You know. Make sure they work. You should kind of be educated on this stuff. I don't know. Simple, simple. Mill no Creek's beautiful as always. It's like a mild chance of rain today. No sunlight yet. I thought it was so cool. It's okay. Yay. Yeah. Puppy spin, puppy spin, puppy spin. I like doing the puppy dance. Look, Lob Lolly Crew. She does a little bit of So, this is the Lop Lolly Pine that is in my, uh, the raft, the game raft, which we totally beat last night, by the way. Well, if you play it by the story, Mariah. What'd you see, puppy? Bird or squirrel? Oh, he sees that squirrel right there. You see him? He's right at the top of the tree, right there at the Y. Here's a riddle me this for all those parents watching out there when the kids play video games. So, video games are hella expensive, right? 60 bucks plus the season pass for like another 20 to 30. So, you figure, you know, just just go ahead and figure that any blockbuster game is going to be $100 for your kid. That's a lot of money. That's a ton of money. PC games tend to be cheaper. Uh, and they go on sale all the time. So we got wrapped for 20 bucks. So me and her both have to have a copy. So that's $40 of an investment. I'm pretty sure because of last night we have a total of 48 hours into the game. Puppy spin, puppy spin, puppy, puppy, puppy spin. All right, so when you think about the cost of entertainment, you know, entertaining us Americans, Sometimes things get a little expensive. I think about going out to the movies, how much does it cost to go out to the movies per ticket? Plus popcorn. Yeah, and a drink. Plus the drinks. Ooh, look at all the turtles. So, two people. The sexy lady, this beast. We uh, go to the movies. We go matinee, which makes it what? $10 ticket? Oh, it's so. around $10 a ticket. And then, um, we don't usually get popcorn unless our son's with us, but we'll ah. post popcorn. It's like $8 a bucket. Eight or something. 12 yeah. yeah. Or 16 sometimes, depending on what theater you're in, but yeah. $10 a ticket. Eight dollars a soda. We're cheap. We get one soda. Let's say we get the small popcorn for twelve bucks. So it's a nice round forty dollar investment to go watch a two hour movie. That's twenty dollars an hour to entertain us, right? The video game raft has provided us with around forty eight hours of entertainment so far. That's assuming we stop playing, we never play the game again because we beat it. We're just done. It's cost us $1.20 per hour of entertainment. 
pretty good investment. And that again, that's assuming we never play the game again. I mean, it's fun even if we do beat the storyline in it. And if you didn't know, there is a storyline to it. There is. It's fun. It's interesting. And the game's in its beta stage, so it's constantly updating. The game's not even completed 100%. And there's more to come, so. Parents. Even you yourself. My young adults, my kids trapped in a big body. Think about that when you're like struggling with that purchase, that $100 purchase of a video game. Take uh, Call of Duty, for example. The, you know, that, that bitch is a hundred bucks. After the season pass and, um, it's the video game deluxe version and the season pass, you're going to spend a hundred dollars easy. Hello, Robin. Sorry. Squirrel. <laughs> You're easily going to spend 100 hours playing the game. Easily. Very easily, yeah. But I mean, think what it, it's most likely going to be a lot more than that. Oh, yeah. So, well, even if we only spend 100 hours playing it over the next year, over the next six months, it's still only a dollar an hour for entertainment, which is... A really good deal. Because they're going to be spending time with their friends. They're going to want to improve and get better. Not just beat the game, but improve their skills as well. Yeah, you get to so. social interact with people. You get to talk a little trash. <laughs> get to get off of a hard day at work. Struggle with it. Okay. Say, bump it. And load that rocket launcher and start blowing people up. It was so cute when Will was like 10 years old. And he was like... He taught him to be such a BA gaming. The other camera died. Oops. Ooh. Anyways, we're saying oh, buy the video games if you want to. Don't be guilty about it. Hours of entertainment are well worth it. And Will was cute trying to make his voice bassier so people wouldn't know he was really 10 years old explaining to them, there's a sniper on the roof. There's a sniper on the roof. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Giving people directions. Thanks, guys. This was Day Walk. See you later. Hi everybody, welcome back to the nighttime vlog. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs>
at 60 calories an hour. So something's got to be funky about the math. Oh yeah. They don't get any credit for rollerblading either, but you get a lot of credit for cycling. It's really weird. Can you really explain that? <sighs> you messing my beer? Top the onion and the zucchini. Okay. Having cheeseburgers tomorrow. Tomorrow's day what? Day 28? Day 27? What day are we on? Today was May 27th vlog. Mm -hmm. Nighttime. We had the house inspected today. Don't know nothing how that turns out for at least three days, if at all ever. And uh, yeah. If you go to someone else's property and they have critters, make sure you close the gate. And yes, I grew up on a farm, but it's just common sense. You always close the gate. Well, clearly you didn't have animals, or sheep, or they. I suppose, I don't know. Thankfully, I found the gate before then did. Almost a super bad day. Yep. Uh, hi, everybody. Thanks for watching. That will conclude tonight's episode. Be around. Don't forget to like. Share, subscribe, and shake that ass. Bye.